welcome back to the channel where we delve deep into the latest headlines and unravel the complexities of celebrity life, family life, and relationship. But today, our spotlight shines on TV personality Jeannie Mai and rapper Jeezy as we bring you an update on the unfolding saga that grips the public's attention. Brace yourself as we navigate through our legation of DA, vehement deniers, and the pursuit of truth in the midst of tumult. But first, hey kings and queens, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl royalty back with another video. If you are new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And to our returning subscribers, you guys are the re MVP. Thank you. So, in recent court documents related to their divorce and custody battle, Jenny Mai alleges that Jeezy was physically and emotionally abusive during their relationship. She claims to have suffered injuries and emotional trauma. However, specific details of Jenny Mai's allegation have not been publicly released, protecting the privacy of those involved. Jeezy emphatically denies Jenny Mai's allegation, with his legal team calling them false and defamatory and an attempt to gain an advantage in their divorce proceedings additionally jesus representative has sought a pattern of jenny mai demonstrating emotionally unstable behavior it's vital we approach this topic guys with sensitivity recognizing that da is a very serious issue moreover we must remember that jesus remains innocent until proven guilty in a court of law however allegation of this nature must be taken seriously in the court document there were exhibit provided photos provided chats like chat messages to back up the claims y'all this is really getting messy and ugly this is the part of divorce no one really want to get to this is the part no one want to see when it gets all messy everyone just want to go their separate ways hey it was okay it was fun while it lasted goodbye maybe i see you maybe not you know but this is the part y'all also as part of the exhibit and document Ginny Mai recounts an experience at a hotel where Jeezy shoved her from the stairs and hotel staff also witnessed the moment where Jeezy shoved Ginny Mai down the stairs after a brief argument or something of that nature she had that also as an exhibit and yet she claimed to have suffered injuries and emotional trauma you guys this developing story highlights the complexities of high profile divorces and the devastating reality of DA. Celebrities are not immune to these terrible issues and their case often face heightened public scrutiny. Additionally, Jenny Mai's decision to come forward may empower other survivors to seek help and break the cycle of abuse. And talking about high profile cases being scrutinized, of course, people are going to talk about Jeannie Mai coming out now because Jeezy was the one who filed for divorce. And prior to Jeezy filing for divorce, she never at any point gave an impression like she was going through DA. As a matter of fact, she was supporting him, loving on him, and always saying nice things about him, good things about him. Even got her daughter, Monaco, praying for his new book release. She had painted a picture of couple goals, and many people were going, oh, I love them together, I love them together. And this just goes to let you all know, it's not always greener at the other side. It's not always rosy at the Johnsons. So do not judge your situation by other people experiences this case is heading towards a contentious court battle where both sides will present their evidence legal experts suggest a thorough investigation will likely take place to determine the validity of the allegations as we conclude our exploration of this gripping saga we invite you to share your thoughts and reflections what do you make of Ginny Mai's allegation against Jeezy? And also, how should society navigate the delicate balance between presumption of innocence and support for survivors? You guys, join the conversation in the comments below. Y'all know I always love to hear your thoughts. And if you or someone you know is experiencing DA, please know that help is available through the National Domestic Violence Hotline. You can check out the number showing on the screen right now or in the description below. We will continue to follow the story closely and provide updates as they become available. This is undoubtedly a difficult situation for all parties involved. 
but here you have it guys that's it pretty much on this update if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay bye bye